my hand I've been waiting for you everyone, Ellie Pop Dragon here, and we are back with Rival Stars Horse Racing Desktop Edition. Now, I want to say Happy New Year because by the time this comes out, it is 2023, which is insane to think about. I remember New Year's like it was yesterday, you know, when it was just becoming 2022. And I also remember last year in February, it was the date was like 22222 or something crazy like that and that also felt like it was yesterday so it's just crazy anyway we are back with rival stars because i have been playing a fair bit let's collect our payouts collect okay as you can see i have 133 million so I've got a lot of gold and I also, if you follow me on Instagram, then you will have seen that I have a grade 9 horse because I got from level 18 to level 19 and then I bred this beautiful mare. Her name is Crepe and I don't have international keyboard on so I can't put a little, um, I can't put an accent on it so just imagine it there. But she has a back preference which I really, oh I really, ooh. I don't like back preference horses because that means you have to be in the back in order to fill up your sprint and then you have to get to the front to win the race and then you just use a bunch of extra anyway i just love front preference horses way more but i have one more goal that needs to be done and i need to sell a an adult horse with a speed stat of over 170, sprint energy stat of over 170, and an acceleration stat of 170. So I've been grinding this horse, gracious thing. I've been grinding her. So she is over 170 in all of those stats. So she is gorgeous and I really love her. I'm tempted to breed her, but she's grade 8, so I don't think I will. So I'm just going to sell her. And then I think we'll become Prestige Prestige 20. And we will be able to breed and buy custom creation horses. Well, you can still buy custom creation horses when you're not Prestige 20, but you can't breed them. And now I have a lot more money, so I can buy, like grade 10 yay did i just see that right we sold the horse to richard he better be happy with my horse okay i put a lot of time and energy into that horse yep go figure right surprising but okay yes <gasps> yay Woo, we're max now lovely 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 oh Oh, I see. Okay, we still have a bunch of quests to do. I thought I thought we would be finished, but I'm I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. Let's upgrade the full. S Ooh, there we go. Let's upgrade the full stalls. I have a bunch of money, so I'm really not worried about that. As I understand it, on mobile, you cannot get this much, or it takes a long time to get this much gold. So I'm very grateful that I'm on desktop and I can get this much gold. Let's see these. Okay. Oh, oh, I, I know. I am aware of that. Is that all of them? Okay, brilliant. So that's one done. Collect. I can't believe I actually got back on a horse. I never would have be believed it if you had told me a year ago that this would happen. 
I've loved this job before, but now I feel an even deeper connection to this place. Now, if we can only beat Richard again, I'll be very happy. The final races at Sapphire Oasis and Queen Victoria Park are going to be memorable. I am nervous for those races. I think I should probably get a grade 10 horse before I do that. Now, I could buy a custom creation, which means I would not have to train it, which would be very helpful. But yeah, I'm not really sure which of those routes I'm going to take like whether I am going to buy a custom creation or not because I just training a grade 10 horse would take absolutely forever um so I'm not really sure let's let's see oh wait actually I do want to go here let's see where are we versing Richard? I'm not entirely sure. Let's race Crepe. Because I want to get her up. And we, we'll, we'll watch the race. Why not? But I'm not... I'm so torn because I really... Oof, training a grade 10 horse would take forever. Absolutely forever. But buying custom creation is like cheating so i'm not really sure hmm. okay we're in the lead but just barely she has a back preference which makes whoa what are those trees doing <laughs> Anyway, she has a back preference, so that makes things very, very difficult. And I just, yeah, some other people might like back preferences, but me, I just, I like to be in front. I like to charge my sprint energy in front. It's just, it's helpful. So hopefully when we breed her, I'll breed her with a front preference and it will at least get a middle preference. And then I can breed that middle preference with a front preference. And I'm just, I'm just going to keep breeding until we get a hopefully grade 10 front preference that would be very helpful but also very ambitious and tedious so i'm not really sure there we go look at her go oh what a legend i've also become a little bit of attached to um some of my horses <laughs> that i used to have like if we go to stable I just, I'm just selling this horse. I I kept this horse just in case I ever needed to sell like a mare, but I didn't want to sell any of my good mares. Um, but I I don't need that horse at all. I don't. I'm not attached to that horse. I never liked that horse. Anyway, that was harsh. But this horse I am attached to, and I'm also quite attached to this horse, even though they're both grade six and seven. So I think at some point I will do a like I will buy both of these horses as grade 10 custom creations because I want them back because they're gorgeous and they've earned me a lot of money and I've just I don't know I've become attached to them so I want to keep them but obviously I don't want to keep just grade seven and six horses because and my dog is barking again I say that in every single video anyway so i'm just i'm gonna buy them back as custom creation grade 10s with full stats and then and then we'll be good this horse has earned me so much money but i'm just not that attached at all and she also has insanely good stats but i'm just i'm not attached to this horse i don't really like that horse i don't know why i just i don't I think it's because she's a 3,000 meter, which I don't really like long races, and she's a middle preference, and I don't like middle preferences. Anyway, she has semi-good. I don't know why I have not trained her sprint energy and acceleration. I just don't. Um, yeah, Waffle is pretty good. I also don't know why I haven't maxed her, but I just kind of decided not to. But anyway. So let's, let's breed. Let's breed some ponies. Um, we'll start with, yes, crepe. We'll go with crepe. Do we have grade 10 horses here? Oh, it's only grade 9. Yeah, I, I got that. So the likelihood of us getting a grade 10 is very low, which I am not happy with. And there are no, are you kidding? Are there, there's not even a, a front preference. 
I'm re- I need a front preference. There we go. I don't like that color, but at this point, I really don't care. I just- We're gonna breed. I'm probably gonna skip the breeding. Um, yeah, I don't have another grade 9 horse to breed with, so maybe if I could- Let's just skip this. I know some of you guys are not gonna like that, but- uh, Oh my- Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's grade 10! Oh, he- and he has really bad stats but that's okay that's okay that's okay we're gonna take a quick little photo we're gonna care for him um violent smile that sounds like a horror movie <laughs> i don't think so bittersweet condition i like bittersweet 20 minutes later uh, captain's card what if we call him just captain i'm probably gonna change it later on because i really i'm just not so sure about that name um let's just hire a caretaker because i really do not feel like doing this okay now we will skip him to stallion it's all good wow he looks just like his mom that is so pretty i love that so yeah not great stats but um not horrible actually now that we've got the extra could be worse i can't believe we got a grade 10 oh no oh <gasps> his position is front oh my gosh guys we just we got it all here i can't believe first try we got what we needed it's a stallion which i'm completely fine with i don't really care his pedigree i'm i also don't really care about I can't believe we got a grade 10 front preference horse. I cannot believe that. Now I have to train him, but I'm completely fine with that because I'm so pleased. So, oh yeah, let's upgrade these. Let's, let's upgrade these real quick. Upgrade. Um, Do I not have to upgrade this? Oh, well, I'll just click Y. That now i'm losing a lot of money but i have plenty of horses who can get it back for me and i don't have any basic like i never have any basic grain or anything like that because i just don't do the lower level races but i guess we might have to <laughs> i'm going to hop into this one. Oh my gosh he's the okay I'm gonna ride him because I always like to ride. Whenever it's one of my new horses, I always like to ride their first race. I'm not sure why, I just do. Anyway, we've got three oaks here. I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. Alrighty. Honestly, I cannot believe we got a grade 10. Like, I keep saying that, but it's so true. How lucky can you get? We're definitely changing his name because I do not like it. Maybe I should name it something that's like that has that that's themed with like waffle and crepe because waffle gave waffle is crepe's mom. So that's kind of why I named her crepe because waffle and crepe are both like kind of breakfast food items that you can add a bunch of unhealthy stuff to like whipped cream and nutella you can add healthy stuff to them too like fruit but um they're just kind of like fun breakfast items so i'd like to keep on that theme but as long as it's better than captain because i just feel like that's a very bland name then i'll be fine with it so if you guys want to put any suggestions down below that'd be fantastic um so yeah, we've got a nice Palomino stallion here and his mom's name was Crepe. So if you want to keep on the food theme, then um, please do. So put some name suggestions down below if you'd like. Let's see here. Breed a grade 10 or higher. Wait, you can't. Is there a grade 11 horse? I don't think there is. So how do you breed a... Anyway, anyway so am i ha i think we've got an all-time i think we do too i think we do too okay oh yeah brandon and i are engaged oh congratulations tj exciting boy that was quick i guess when you know you know 
so are we gonna get invited to his wedding like please foreign trade breeder buy a horse with an initial sprint energy stat of 64 above training level train a horse to level 40 sprint energy sell an adult horse was a what i don't want to sell an adult wait a minute wait a minute wait, a minute. <gasps> wait 182 or above are you kidding that would mean i would have to sell one of these three and i love all of them there's no way I'm selling Waffle because I just, I love her so much. Yeah, Melody really does not have good stacks. I could sell Crescent Moon, but she's like, she has really good stats and I should probably keep her for now. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm just so pleased that we got Captain. Okay, let me check the market for any basic I'm buying. Because I need anything, any sort of basic stuff I need. See, I just, I don't have basic grain. And I need basic grain. And I don't have it. I'll just get him started on these. Even though I don't really care about agility or jump, sometimes they're nice to have just in free roam. Let's get him to like above level six so there we go see this, this this basic grain really gets me oh and now i'm out of this too brilliant okay i'm out of a lot of basic stuff which sucks um but i think i should probably just grind these cu first couple races like I know they're capped or whatever, but and they're definitely gonna win, but I really don't care. I just need basic grain and basic tack and whatever. So she just won by five seconds. That's like really, really good. Um, anyway, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to the creation hub and I'd like to show you guys some of my collection. So Stylish Spy, I just created like a couple days ago just on the spot i just wanted a different kind of horse just something crazy and different and silent dusk is the one that you just saw race i just i love her too much to let her go but i cannot keep a grade 7 horse so i'm just gonna bring her back as a grade 10 custom creation and i did put a little rapcano on her just to have some a little bit of difference when we read her even though it won't matter much until we read her grandkids and then her their pedigree will actually come into play smoky storm i just that's like smoke like the the grade six horse that i have but she was black and this horse isn't i'm not sure why i decided to go with gray but i might change it and i also again wanted some different patterns in there so pirate and domino i don't know i just really like those names so i decided to create a horse out of them so yeah basically that's that's what we got going there so it's it's been going pretty well i'd say we just made it to uh prestige 20 which i am very happy with and i'm so so pleased with this horse right right here we'll put him out into the pasture and then just watch him because he is a grade 10 horse with a front position like that's literally all i ever wanted and i thought we were going to have to breed a ton to get it because grade 10 horses you have a much higher percent chance of getting grade 9 instead of grade 10 and then his mom was all the way a back position preference so i thought at first we might get back or middle before we got front so i'm surprised that we got it all in one go and i'm very very pleased with that so yeah i'm very very happy with how it went today we did a little bit of racing next time that we can come back on hopefully i will have trained this boy completely and we can race him and breed him that will be really fun if you want to have some name suggestions if you want to suggest some names for him then please do this is this is what he looks like 
so if you want to have a little bit of ooh, 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 sorry sorry y'all this is this is him so remember his mom's name was crepe and his grandma's name is waffle so if you want to keep on the breakfast food theme then please do um so yeah i'm so happy and again happy new year if you want to see some more rival stars content then please let me know and i will get back to star stable don't worry i am coming out with a whole rp and stuff i've been doing a lot of training as well so i'm pretty happy with how productive i've been on both of these games so yeah hope you guys enjoyed if you did then like and subscribe for more content like this love 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 life bye me up and i can feel it now